Welcome. I'm Meredith. This is the Oasis Spiritual Empowerment Tarot. All about tarot, oracle, and empowering you. And today, so excited for this unboxing. This is the Shaman's Way Oracle by Michelle Matuzas, perhaps. I hope I'm close. Um, I'm super excited for this because... This is the same creator of the Shamanic Healing Oracle cards, which I adore. Um, if you haven't seen them, I will link my unboxing in the description. So the backs, look at that beautiful gilding. And I just, this is such a great deck. I can't even tell you. It's so much more than I expected it to be. And uh, I'm absolutely in love. So, I have high hopes for this one. And beautiful, beautiful box. Um, and it's a nice size. You know, it's not too big. Um, so I like that because this is a, you know, box that I'll keep. Um, okay. So we have a really nice, really pretty, <laughs> chunky guidebook. Um, so let's take a very quick look. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, this is fabulous. In the end, bless the darkness, hold the light, because the two aren't divisible. By S. Kelly Harrell. That's super true. Okay, so we have an introduction, how the cards work, how to do a reading, then the oracle cards, and conclusion. Um, and we do have, oh, we have different spreads. Um, okay, so we have a full color image of the cards. And then, eh, maybe, well, I guess it depends on the card. Some cards have more than others. But roughly a page-ish for each card. So let's look at the cards, and then we will pull one and, and read from the guidebook. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, now, these are not gilded, which is kind of a shame, but it's okay. Um, I think I will probably edge them in black. But look how pretty the backs are. And these are very uh, soft matte. So the others... Just to kind of compare, if you have the other uh, deck, these are um, like slightly, I don't know if glossy is even the word, they're, they're glossier than this. This is like a true matte. This is, um, you know, it's got a little bit of a shine. They move very, very um, easily. Whereas this deck, um, you know, it you can still fan them out, but they're not as slippery. Um, but it's a nice, I think they feel nice. So let's get into the cards. Oh, we'll do the size. Um, and I do think, again, if you, if you have the first deck, um, they are right about the same size, maybe a little bit little bit off um, I don't know if that's from the gilding but it looks like no because the this the newer deck is a teensy teensy bit wider but I mean it's, it's really hard to notice I don't know if you can even say but um, compared to a standard tarot they are you know a little wider not not crazy level um, and a little, little bit shorter. So, very easy to hold in your hand and, and to use. Okay. So now let's get into the cards. So we have the lower world. Just beautiful. Wow. And they are numbered. So be easy to find in the guidebook. 
the middle world. Oh wow, the upper world. I love that. <laughs> Wise, I love this, oh my goodness. It's like, why did the chicken cross the road? It's fabulous. Renew. Beautiful. There's something about this artwork. It just like it it speaks to that reptilian brain. You know, it's very it 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 kind of touches that primal part. Enlightenment. Yeah, this is a super feeling deck for me. Um it it just evokes so much. Wabi sabi. Balance. How beautiful. And I love the way show you. we have um, these different borders. Intuitive power. And I love that it's number nine. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, wow. Fate. Now this is a little, it took me a minute to find it, um, but I could read it. So, and I like that. I like that the art is what you see, you know, and you have to maybe take a moment to notice the, the names and the numbers. Leap of Faith. Overthinking. Oh, wow. I mean, very, very clear, right? The in-between. Oh my goodness, look at that. Is this focusing? It better be focusing, I swear. I don't know why my thing's being crazy today. That's not good. Why is it doing that? Transmutation. Oh, that's beautiful. Tribe. Lovely. Reminds me, yesterday I was getting ready for work. And I have a skylight in my bathroom. And I heard this tap, tap, tapping, tap, tap, tapping. And I was looking all around. I'm like, what is that? Finally, I look up. And there were these crows gathered on my skylight. It was the coolest thing. I was almost late to work because I couldn't stop looking at them. It was so cute. They were, you know, it's slanted. And they were going up at the top and sliding down. Just having fun. So cool. I gotta get some peanuts for them. <laughs> That's what this reminded me of. Vibrational alignment. Lovely. Health. Movement. Wow. Golden lining. How beautiful. I love the way the clouds were done. It's just, uh, there's something about this art style that just really resonates with me so strongly. Ancestors. Peace. Walk your path. Unconditional love. Holding space. How perfect. Oneness. Oh, I love this too. I don't know if this is meant to be, but it reminds me of the third eye, which I think is perfect for that. Boundaries. Play. School. How fabulous that is. 
love that. Because, of course, that, that brings to mind, again, you know, at, at least my mind, um, the idea of community, too, right? You know, as well as learning and, you know, all the other things. But I like that, that they're both kind of combined. Blessings. Higher self. Ooh, grief and loss. Wow. I really like this. Because to me, this, this upper part speaks of, of the growth that comes after. Again, that, that could just be me, but, but that's how I see it, you know? Surrender. Shaman's death. That's an interesting card. Soul retrieval. Protect your energy. That's a great message for everybody. Shadow work. Oh, I love this depiction. It's fabulous. Separation. Passion. Wow. Mystery. Patience. Beautiful. Do the work. Resistance. Falling apart. Oh, wow. False prophets. It's a powerful image. Okay. So we have 44 cards. In case you were curious and you missed the number. Uh, shuffle beautifully. Look at that. Yeah. Uh, really, really nice to shuffle. Really easy. And again, they're matte, so they don't fan out like a glossy deck would. But they shuffle, I mean, just just really beautifully. And uh, and I, I think that as you use this deck, it's going to fan out better and better, too. Um, but overhand is a dream. I mean, it's really, really pleasant to shuffle. It feels very earthy and organic because of the madness, I think. Um, so let's pick one. And we'll read from the book. And then I'll lay them out so you can see. So we have blessings. Oh, I like that. Um, where'd the book go? I just had it. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oops. All right. So it's number 29. So we can easily find it. Okay. So we do, again, have that full color image. We have the number and the title. And then we have keywords. Blessing, gentle, quiet, hope, gratitude. Okay, so then it says, We are surrounded by blessings every minute of every day. Sometimes they are big and loud. Other times they are gentle and quiet. Taking notice of your blessings keeps you in gratitude. A great vibration to be in. When in gratitude, there is hope. And where there is hope, there is an open door and space for experiences, people, and situations to come in. Just as in life, fear begets fear, awareness of blessings begets more blessings. What are the blessings you are not seeing about this situation? I love, I love that. That is a fabulous, 
I'm wondering if um, it looks like each card does have like a, a question except maybe this one <laughs> All right, at least some cards have questions, um, which I love. You know, because it gives you something to think about. It looks like definitely most of them do. Um, which I think is fabulous. Um, so I'm going to lay some out. And you know what? Then I'm going to add the other oracle to it. Because I feel like they're going to be fabulous together. Um, wow. These are just gorgeous, and they feel so nice to lay out. I gotta tell you, I'm not missing the other cardstock, although I like that one too. Um, but I, I feel like this, it just feels so earthy and right for this deck. Um, oh, there's something about, I think the colors chosen as well. That just really add to the overall feel and experience with this deck. Um, it, you know, they are a little bit darker, but I can definitely see all the details. I hope they show up on camera. Um, like this one, it's very dark, but I can easily see all the fabulous details. Um, and I feel like the darkness of this deck kind of helps bring you into that place you know that kind of deeper place kind of dreamy place so i really like that so let's let's go ahead and add the other oracle to it and just kind of see how they feel together right so just do like a half and half so now this art is a little brighter there's a little more white to it um just overall but i love the way that they i mean they just you know of course they work wonderfully i love that so much they work wonderfully together um and you know what? I like that they're different card stocks because it just helps um, kind of differentiate. But by the same token, you know, the art style is, you know, I mean, same, same artist. So there's definitely that continuity with that. So it's kind of nice to have a difference with the card stock, I think. So I... I I'm loving this. I really, really am. I am definitely going to combine these two. Because there are different... The key words are very different, too. So, like, we have... Here we have Renew, Tribe. Now we have Ascension, Movement into Balance. And, I mean, how fabulous are these together? Um, give you another example of how, you know, how it might kind of go together. So we have resistance, falling apart, retreat, and teaching. Oh my God, how, what a, what a great message, right? Right, that resistance might be causing you to fall apart. So you need to retreat and learn from this experience. Oh, love, 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 love. False prophets, ancestors, joy, duality. Wow. This is just... Mm, love these. I really, really love these. I love these together. And I'm telling you, this deck, I really... I was so drawn to the artwork, right? That's, that's why I got it. I wasn't expecting a lot. I was like, eh, you know, it's an oracle that I like the artwork. This is so deep. It really, really is. And definitely, I'm feeling the same with this. Um, it just, it's, for me, this is a really powerful deck. Um, and it's, 
it's so wonderful. Um, I really, really love it. So um, I have no doubt that I'm going to feel the same way about this one. I am so, I'm so excited, so happy I got it. So I will link in the description my unboxing of this one if you want to see it. Um, and, and this is just a fabulous deck too. And the keywords are very, very different. So it's not like there's an overlap. Um, so I definitely think that these will combine beautifully, you know? Um, yeah, oh, I just, I'm really, really happy for this deck. Um, so let me know what you think. Do you have one or, or both of these decks? I think this one, this one is pretty new, I believe. So it is a red feather deck. Yeah, 2023. So, um, oh, I, I really love it. So let me know what you think. Let me know. Wait, you want to see? You want to see a pair with some tarot? Just because. Just because I want to now. See? This is what happens. Um, and because this is right here, and it, it's kind of a weird pairing, but let's see. It might not work. I just want to see. So this is the Serpent and the Peacock Tarot. That's the first edition with the borders. Um, and it's interesting because this one is very kind of medieval feeling, right? And this one just feels more primal and even older. But I actually quite like them together. Yeah, and I like, you know, I so I did back the Borderless Edition on Kickstarter. So excited for that to come. But I think the borders are great with this deck because it adds that lightness and that brightness. Um, oh, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Let's just see the backs together. How gorgeous are those? Yeah, I like these together. Wow, and see... <laughs> I probably wouldn't have thought to pair them, except this is just out because I just used it in another video. Um, let's do one more. Who should we do? What about... Oh, there's another. There's another <laughs> medieval type one. But um, I love this deck. So this is, um, oh, and I should say, the, the Serpent and the Peacock Tower is by Libra Moon. And this one is La Corte Taroki <clears throat> um, by Anna Maria Donofrio. It's an El Menengello uh, deck. Just thinking that this will be really cool. And again, there's a nice lightness to this, but still, you know, definitely an old feeling. So I kind of like how these work together. Right? I really like these together. And this feels, you know, this is a very papery deck. Very, very organic and earthy. So I think that just adds to the um, experience with the two decks anyway. Yeah. Oh, I really, really like the, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, so I'm, yeah, I think I'm going to have to use these together. Um, so lately I've been using this deck, um, with, with some other decks, um, but it's nice to kind of add to that. Um, let's do one more, because this is fun. I think it's fun. I hope you do. Uh, let's do somebody. <gasps> okay. This might be, this might, this not, might not be a great pairing, but 
I'm curious to see because this is so so different um, so this is the silver acorn tarot and it's by uh, Stephanie Buscema and it's written by Madame Pamita so I'll show you the facts now the artwork is wildly different right <laughs> but I don't know let's see I love this deck so much it's wildly different right but there's something and again I like that this is like a lighter brighter deck um This probably wouldn't be my go-to with it, um, but I do like it. It's very, very different energies, um, which can be a really good thing. It's, it's not going to be my go-to. Definitely not. Um, but it's kind of interesting together. I think depending on the reading, right, depending on the purpose, this is a deck that I might be inclined to pair with this. It's it's not going to be like, um, you know, again, that, that go-to. But um, I think depending on what I'm after in a reading, it could be really nice. So let's do... Oh. Let's do just one more. Um, again, this, this is one that I've been using, so um, it's right here. So this is uh, a Woe Studios deck, and it's the Monsoon Tarot, which I love. Um, and again, this is very, very different. But let's just kind of see. Um, because I do feel like it might be really neat together. So those are the bags. I don't know what that was. Something crashed. Oh. Oh. Hamilton, please stop. That was my cats. Something crashed outside and then it crashed inside. I kind of like these to get. Look at the. Hey, isn't that neat? And again, much lighter. So it's a nice balance in that regard. Um, and this is such a, a kind of dreamy sort of deck. Um, and this, this is too. In a lot of ways um, so I think it's a really nice compliment actually I don't know that it would be my favorite pairing but I um, I do like it I really like the the, the way the colors kind of Combine and contrast. Yeah. Actually, the more I look at them together, the more I like them. So, I might have to play with these two together and kind of see how that goes. Um, yeah, there's something really interesting about these combined. I'm not sure what it is. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna have to play with them and see. But, um, let me know what you think. If you have this deck, what are you using with it? You know? Do you have the, the older one? How do you use that one? So, until next time. Just be wonderful to yourself. Be really, really wonderful because you deserve the best, only the best. 
all the best, and that is my wish for you.